Now let's turn to the National Assembly where the Nigerian Senate has received the nomination of Abdul Rashid Bawa as the new substantive chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The nomination was contained in a letter addressed to the President of the Senate and read on the floor at Tuesday's plenary. National Assembly correspondent Tijesu Adili reports. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has gone several months without a substantive head at the helm of affairs, but that is all about to change. President Mohamedou Buhari on Tuesday sought the approval of the Senate to confirm Mr. Abdur Rashid Bawa as the substantive chairman of the EFC and the face of his anti-graft war. In accordance with paragraph 2, subsection 2 of part 1, Cap E1 of EFCC Act 2004, I am pleased to present for confirmation by the Senate the appointment of Abdul Rashid Bawa as Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Mr. Abdul Rashid Bawa is a very senior detective in the EFCC with vast experience in the investigation and prosecution of those involved in cybercrime and other forms of fraud. But aside his very attractive work profile, the new chairman designate is not free from corruption allegations amounting to billions of naira. The same reasons his predecessor, Ibrahim Magu, was never confirmed by the Senate and was eventually removed from office on grounds of corrupt practices as recommended by a presidential panel set up to probe him. Mr. Bauer's nomination also comes at a time when Nigeria dropped in the latest ranking of the Global Corruption Perception Index done by Transparency International, indicating an increase in the level of corruption in Nigeria. Um, now all eyes will be on the Senate to put square pegs in square holes and ensure that the critical task of fighting corruption to a standstill is put in the right hands. Mr. Bauer is expected to appear before the Senate at plenary for thorough screening at a later date, which is yet to be disclosed. TJ Swadio, TVC News, Abuja.